We have our latest annual update on Americans' confidence in institutions. That's something that we measure every May or June, something we've actually been doing since way back in 1973. Let me share with you some of the highlights of what we found this year. First of all, bad news for banks. Americans' confidence in banks is at 22 percent. That's the percent who have a great deal or quite a lot of confidence in banks, and that is the lowest in Gallup's history. It's down 10 points from last year and as recently as the mid-decade years of 2005-2006. Almost half of Americans had confidence in banks. So it's a huge drop-off for banks. It's not shocking, given all the news we've had this year about failing banks and so forth. But nevertheless, our data confirm that banks have a real confidence problem with the American public. It's not just banks. Look at big business, confidence in big business. And note that word big is now at 16 percent. That, too, is the lowest in Gallup's history. I would, however, juxtapose that low confidence level in big business with the high confidence level in small business. That's all the way up at 67 percent. Look at the difference an adjective makes. When you say big in front of business, Americans say very little confidence. Small, yes, Americans have quite a bit of confidence. What's the good news? Well, the military is now near its highest point in Gallup history. 82% of Americans have confidence in the U.S. military. That's up over 10 points from last year, and just three points off the 85% confidence in the military back in March of 1991, just after the successful first Persian Gulf War. Also, confidence in the military was at 82% in June of 2003. Finally, the three branches of government confidence in the presidency has gone up significantly. Of course, that's concomitant with the shift from George W. Bush's president to Barack Obama's. Confidence in the presidency much higher than his confidence in the Supreme Court or confidence in Congress. For a full discussion and presentation of our annual update of the data on confidence in institutions, check the analysis here at Gallup.com. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, editor-in-chief of the Gallup Poll.